Good morning and welcome to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. Our focus this morning is on organizations dedicated to giving young people the knowledge and skills they need to succeed in life. My first guests represent the world's largest organization that's purpose is to inspire and prepare young people to succeed in a global economy by helping them achieve economic success, plan for the future, and make smart, academic choices. Junior Achievement Up Wisconsin, that's who I'm talking about. And I'm happy to be joined by Brooke Tabbert, who serves as the Regional Director, Education Outreach Southeast Region for Junior Achievement Up Wisconsin. And we're also being joined by Shay Fike. She's the Member Services Manager at HSA Bank, and she serves as a volunteer for Junior Achievement Up Wisconsin. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Happy to have you both join me today. And Junior Achievement was founded in 1919. So fast forward, I'm guessing 102 years later, this organization continues to have a positive impact on students across the country. Uh, Brooke, if you would tell us more about Junior Achievement of Wisconsin and how you help prepare young people for the real world. <laughs> well, thank you. And Junior Achievement is um, an organization that uses community, corporate, parents, um, but volunteers to help share those vital skills that students need to really succeed, whether it comes from um, for financial reasons, saving and paying yourself first, knowing needs and wants, or all the way to being an entrepreneur and uh, really learning what skills and career goals students have. So we use those volunteers um, and utilize those volunteers to share their stories and our programming with kindergarten through 12th grade students. So we are reaching students all across the state state of Wisconsin from the smallest little burb um, in the state to all across the city of Milwaukee, really making that impact and helping students have the skills they need to dream big. Yeah, and it's always fun when volunteers go into the classroom because I remember junior achievement volunteers coming to my school when I was growing up. They always find a really cool way to, you know, make the language understandable for the young people, depending on the age and the grade. And it really is a skill that's not easy to do when explaining what your occupation is. So uh, speaking of those volunteers, you have uh, over 200,000 classroom volunteers from all walks of life. And Shay, I did mention that you work for HSA Bank and you serve as a volunteer. So if you would, uh, first tell us how you got involved with Junior Achievement. Um, I got involved with junior treatment um, a couple years ago um, prior to coming to HSA Bank, but I like that HSA Bank had an opportunity for me to volunteer in the community. I'm very big on financial literacy and supporting um, our young adults um, on how to better manage money and see what the importance of it is. And I appreciate the opportunity to work with junior achievement to continue to do that. Um, and HSA Bank supported my goals and supported um, their choice are, had already been participating in the program for quite some time, for about 10 years. Um, and it was a volunteer activity that they spent a lot of time with and invested a lot of time with because they felt that it was value for our bank and um, anyone else that wanted to be involved that they worked at HSA Bank. Yeah, and I was talking about, you know, being able to uh, have language that uh, young people can't understand when it comes to, you know, what it is you do. So is there a particular group that you talk to or work with when it comes to the kids? Um, with HSA Bank, we've done a couple of different scenarios. We actually went in for, uh, they have an area that looks like Kohl's, it has a bank, it has a Culver's, and the kids from area schools are able to come into that, um, that area and they're able to have a, a normal work day. They allow them to work, they get paid, they go to the bank, they deposit that money, they can actually purchase lunch and purchase gifts. Um, and it also gives them an opportunity to have all sorts of jobs um, there. They also have, um, they're able to sell the newspaper, they're able to be electrician. So it gives them a lot of opportunities. And I really enjoy that to, the most because it gives them an opportunity to see what their parents do every day. Um, and it also gives them an, an opportunity to relate to them. And a lot of kids were super excited to get their first paycheck and go to the bank and cash it and then figure out what they're actually going to save. 
So outside of just being in the classroom, you have that opportunity to go to their location um, to meet with a whole school and, and have fun for a day with kids. So I really, really enjoyed that one. Yeah, I love that hands-on stuff. And anytime I've seen kids go through the whole thing with finances, they're like, I'm rich. And then you say, okay, give me this much money for your rent. And they hand that over. And then how much it costs for gas. And then they're like, this is all I have. So you really have an opportunity for them to understand like how money works. And it probably helps those parents a lot with them uh, kind of backing off on the things that they ask for, I'm sure. So I think it's awesome. Brooke, obviously things have changed quite a bit with the pandemic, uh, with many of the kids, you know, getting their education virtually. So what um, type of adjustments have you had to make? Uh, does this work better for you or has it kind of hurt what you do on a daily? Well, you're exactly right. I think just like everything else in the last 11 plus months, everything has had to be tweaked or change a little. And JA has really done a wonderful job of um, pivoting with um, schools and with volunteers to reach students wherever they are. That has been our goal since March of 2020 to really reach those students and educators, whether they're at home or they're in a classroom, um, whatever they may be doing, whether it's live with a volunteer or a recorded volunteer lesson that they can watch. And one way that we've really been able to capitalize on that is our programs becoming virtual and digital. And like the program Shay mentioned, um, you mentioned that the knowing how to spend a paycheck we have a program, um, Shay mentioned JA BizTown, which is in our facility, our JA Coles Education Center in Milwaukee. We also have JA Finance Park, which is a live budgeting simulation. So almost 8,500 students would come to our facility on the north side of Milwaukee every year. We were able to flip that and go online and virtual. So students are logging in through their Chromebooks or their computers or however it may be, um, receiving a, a budget, a, a net monthly income and deciding how to spend it. And like you said, rent, um, you know, <laughs> when you buy a car, you have to pay for gas and maintenance. Um, uh, if they have children in the scenario, you have to pay for daycare. So all those things that students are really having those light bulb moments and really learning that and I, and I honestly think in saying that, what their parents are going through, and they're seeing it more now. As we came home with the pandemic, there's more money decisions going on. You know, Families are really talking about what changes have had to be made. Maybe they're traveling less. Um, maybe a parent or a family member has lost a job. So they're talking about budgeting. And Junior Achievement is able to provide that programming and that simulation and fun to help students learn how they can better prepare and possibly help their family better prepare in times when the budget just isn't as easy to, to, to work with each month. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And since we are talking about uh, uh, the, wor the virtual world, which all of us have had to adapt to, I thought this was very interesting. You guys came up with a speaker series uh, that is specifically for 7th through 12th graders. And I'd love for you to talk a little bit about that. Great. Yes, the JA Career Speaker Series is another way to bring um, one of our three pathways and our goals with Junior Achievement is workplace and career readiness. So how are students really prepared to know what they want to be, what they're good at, what is even out there? And we're able to have recorded videos by volunteers like Shay who share who they are, what they do, and have these seven to 10 minute videos from every single one of the 16 career clusters and have educators be able to play those videos whenever they can. So it's another resources, resource for educators to play to their students, to have career, um, to career guidance for their students, but also for students to learn a little bit more about career clusters or jobs that they, met, that they may have never heard of before. Mm -hmm. That's great. And the website address where someone would go to uh, either hear those videos or if it's an educator that would like to utilize those, what is that address? You can go to our website for JA Wisconsin, which is wisconsin.ja.org. 
And right on the front page to the website, there is a link to the JA Career Speaker Series. So educators, volunteers who may want to record a video, um, sponsors or partners in the community that may want to learn more about it, you can go to that website and just fill in your name and you can see our, our catalog and portfolio and a JA staff member will reach out to help you um, and help answer any questions you have. Okay, and that address again is? That address is wisconsin.ja.org for Junior Achievement of Wisconsin. All right. And Shay, uh, Brooke just told us that you did one of those videos. And I had a chance to like kind of scroll through and see all of the different occupations. And I think it's awesome because a lot of times if a child thinks of, oh, you work at the bank they may only think of that person they see when they walk in that's doing the transactions, but there's so much more that, you know, goes into the operation. So I thought it was awesome how you were able to relate to where kids would be and saying, this is what I thought I wanted to be. And this is what I ended up being. Talk a little bit about that. Um, for me with HSA Bank and our partnership with Junior Achievement, um, I like the opportunity that we could continue the relationship even through COVID. Um, so providing my career pro progression to a person that's trying to figure things out. Um, we have to keep in mind that our children and our teenagers can't go have internships during this time. They've lost out on a lot of things. And I felt like me sharing my career goals and what I went through uh, will give an opportunity to maybe research further on what they're interested in. Because sometimes our interests do change. And I feel like when you have opportunities, you can grow in those. And I want them to be successful and I want them to make sure that they hone in the, on their skills. Um, so this was a great opportunity for me to give that back to them. And then the speaker series, when they asked me, you know, was I interested? I was like, yes, because I still had an opportunity to give them my voice. And then hopefully they can take something from the 10 minutes that I invested in them and they can also see a host of other videos to help their career goals and their career progressions. Yeah, I think it's awesome. And uh, before we run out of time, Brooke, Junior Achievement obviously collaborates with a number of companies such as HSA Bank and uh, the list goes on and on. Uh, if you would kind of just uh, let everyone at home know how important it is to have these type of collaborations and if they are in a corporation or a business that would like to get involved, what they need to do. We'll definitely go to our website for more information about junior achievement and how to get involved in any way with our organization, again, wisconsin.ja.org. We couldn't do we, what we do without partners like H HSA Bank and Shea and um, many other companies and organizations to reach the students and with teachers. So if, if you are interested, go to our website, reach out, um, and just look for more information about information, how you can reach students through junior achievement to help them be more successful in life. Well, I thank you both for joining us today. It has been a pleasure talking to you. And I'm sure I speak for many people when I say thank you for the time and effort you put in and making a difference with our children. Thank you. You're welcome. You. She serves as the Regional Director, Education Outreach Southeast Region for Junior Achievement of Wisconsin. And Shay Fike, she's the Member Services Manager at HSA Bank. She serves as a volunteer for Junior Achievement of Wisconsin. For more information on anything we've discussed, you can visit their website at wisconsin.ja.org. When we return to Our Issues Milwaukee, we'll continue our conversation about great organizations making a difference with our children right after this.